Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Nature's Beauty. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I've been doing a bunch of cave in between episodes. That big cave that we found uh, last time, I've been exploring it. Uh, I've got pretty much a full inventory of stuff, and I just wanted to show there are actually emeralds in this cave. I found a couple other veins of them. So we have 11 emeralds now, which is awesome, um, but I need some more stuff. Uh, I need some lapis, and I haven't seen any of that yet. However, I do have a completely full inventory right now, so I think it's time to uh, return to the surface and get out of here, deposit this stuff back in our house, and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but, since we have found uh, more than eight emeralds, we are actually in a pretty good position. All we need is, like, two blocks of lapis. And then we can make some rings uh, from a mod that was custom made for this pack by Vazki, who is the um, the mod author behind Quark uh, and uh, Botania and a whole bunch of other mods that you very well may recognize. But basically, I spoke with Vazki quite a while ago and had a mod commissioned for this pack called Potion Fingers. And essentially, what it allows you to do is create rings that will give you beacon effects as you walk around with them. And it's, uh, I think it's a really kind of good solution for um, reducing the grind in maybe a little bit of like an overpowered way, but also in a way that doesn't feel like super non-vanilla, if that makes any sense. Um, I've also been organizing some chests and stuff like that between episodes as well. Uh, let's see. We'll toss. I need a chest just for, like, ores. <laughs> um. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's make a chest just for ores. We'll go like so. Like that. And I'm just going to put this guy right here, I guess. And this will be for all our iron and coal and redstone and diamonds. and You know, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and then this can all go here. Uh, flint, I suppose, technically I consider an ore. And the rest of it I'll toss over there. Okay, awesome. So now that we're a little bit organized, um, I think the next thing that I need to do, now that I've done some more mining, like obviously we probably want to start processing some of these ores. We'll start doubling it and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, there's also copper in this pack, but it's not used for much. Um, basically, it's used for primarily not enough roofs uh, or roofs, not enough roofs, not enough roofs, whatever. Uh, either way, it's used to make these roofs uh, and basically you use copper and then some other material, wood, brick, whatever. Uh, and you can make some pretty awesome looking uh, roofs to put on your building. So that's pretty cool. But I think uh, I've explored that cave. I've explored that cave about as much as it can be explored. I think I've covered like every little side passage and stuff like that. So I think now what I'm going to do, uh, unfortunately, I didn't find any diamonds or lapis. So I think what I'm going to do now is just find a spot and dig down um, and try to get diamonds that way, because we do want to get diamonds ASAP, uh, probably before we do any like major building pro uh, projects. Because there's another mod in the pack called the Whole Tree Axe, and this guy is just an axe, it's made with diamonds, and it does pretty much exactly what you would expect it to do. It can chop down an entire tree at once, which will make gathering wood for some sort of big building project way easier than it would otherwise be. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to work on now. I'm also going to kind of clear out some of these, like, things that are just here. Like, we just uh, taken up space in the house, and, you know, I, I want to kind of revamp this building a little bit over the course of this series. I'm not going to spend a ton of time here, uh, because I want to build my own house and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but for now, I, I want to just kind of get rid of, like, the birch and some of that sort of not-so-useful stuff. Uh, and what we should probably do is make a bunch of ladders. Uh, because in this pack, ladders are actually, like, pretty useful... Uh, let's go there, there, and we'll make 
That should be plenty. We'll just do something like that. There we go. Uh, and then I suppose that can go in here, and this stuff can go over here. How are we doing on torches? We're pretty good on torches. Let's throw this in here, grab some coal, toss you in there so that can start cooking up. And we should probably take... Probably this stuff with us. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, and then also I should probably grab a little bit of cobblestone because we're going to be going, you know, we're obviously working our way down. Um, but we need to make sure that we do it uh, in a spot where we're not going to, like, fall into lava. Uh, so maybe we'll make our mine, like, just outside of the village a little bit. Maybe, like, right, right here, maybe. Or maybe, like, right here. Sure. I like this. Um, yeah, I've got enough. If I run out, I can pretty easily do other things. And then what we'll do is just kind of put down ladders as we go. And I'll just dig my way down for a bit. I can put some ladders up. Look how quick you climb ladders in this pack. Like, it's fast. And that makes ladders actually, like, really useful. Uh, so, yeah, this is what I'm going to work on. I'm going to dig this down until we get to diamond level, uh, Y level 11. I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I've been digging my way down. Check this out. We have an amazing find here. We found ourselves a crystal cave. This is from, uh, from Quark. These things generate light. I think you need silk touch. Oh, no, look at that. You can pick them up without silk touch even better. But the nice thing, or one of the nice things about this crystal cave, is that it generates all sorts of rare ores in it as well. So we'll find diamonds here without having to look too hard, as well as emeralds and all sorts of other goodies too. So that is very, very fortunate for us. I mean, there's gold. We got uh, any more diamonds lying around? I see emeralds. Uh, don't really see any more diamonds. Lots of gold, though. And a fair amount of emeralds. Oh, no, there's more over... Oh, that's right. I don't have torches in my offhand anymore. I don't have any torches. Okay, well, I have a solution. Please die, zombie. Um, let's just grab... That's one piece of coal. <laughs> I, need, I need a little bit more than one piece. But this is really cool. We can use these crystals for lighting or, or for whatever we want. Let's just get a little bit of coal here. There we go. That should work. And then let's just make... Oh! I had a full stack of torches in my inventory right there. Oops! Oh well. It's not like they won't get used. Um, but yeah, look at this. There's more diamonds over here. This is like a really good find. Um, let's grab... Oh, there's even more. Look at this. Look at that. We got six diamonds and we didn't even have to go branch mining. That is so good. Um, might as well grab this redstone as well since we'll probably need it at some point. I was really hoping to find lapis here though. And I don't think there is any. I don't see any. Which is kind of unfortunate. Let's just kind of look over here a little bit. No, no lapis. What about over in this direction? No, doesn't look like there's any lapis over here either. Okay. Well, still, we got our six diamonds. That's a really good find, considering we didn't have to work too hard for them. Um, I'm gonna mine out the rest of this stuff, and then I'm gonna finish digging that tunnel down. I'll probably leave, like, a little thing here, so we can get out. Ooh. Um, tell you what, let's do... Something like that, to make the staircase a little bit easier. But we'll just keep working our way down. I'm gonna have to make a new pickaxe and all that kind of stuff pretty soon. Still, great find. Alright guys, I am back, check it out. Found some lapis, finally. I've been uh, branch mining a bit. 
And we have 45 pieces of lapis. That will be enough for our purposes here. Let's just plop that down. Haven't found any more diamonds, but that's okay. So uh, now that we have this, you can see it's been a little bit of a tunnel. Uh, and this, I know this is interesting, but there's nothing here as far as I can tell. It's just lava. It appears that this is like some sort of structure surrounded by lava. Or, or with lava filling it or something like that. I kind of dug around it a little bit, but uh, anyway. Let's make our way back up to the surface. The fact that we can travel up these ladders so quickly is just so good. And then we can make two of something that's going to be incredibly useful for us. So first of all, uh, well, actually, you know what? Before we do anything else, let's sleep. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then I think let's grab some gold ore and let's get maybe half a stack of that cooking up. We've got plenty of iron ingots now. And put all this stuff away like so. Grab some lapis. And we want two lapis blocks. There we go. We got four gold ore here. Let's get that cooking as well. And then... Uh, essentially, we need eight gold ingots. So, it's not terrible. There we go. We'll get that going. Uh, so, the plan here is to make two rings. And they're both going to be... Uh, essentially, haste rings. If we look at the mod Potion Fingers, this is that custom mod that Vazgi made for me. Um, first thing you need to do is make a, uh, like a blank ring, right? So we can grab one of these and just do that. There's the blank ring. And then for haste, you surround it with emeralds and that gives you a ring of haste. And then you can put that onto here, and now we have haste, which is awesome. Um, furthermore, if you make two of the same ring, now we have haste two. And we basically have haste two permanently. Same way, there, and there's a ring for basically all the different beacon effects. So regeneration, strength, jump boost, resistance, speed, etc etc uh but basically this is a really good way to kind of take the grind out of the early game as long as you can find uh emeralds fairly quickly uh once you do that you're basically set so i'm going to go back to mining let's uh in fact let's actually just see how much of a difference this makes i have imagine uh, or i imagine it'll be Fairly substantial. And let's just do that as well. And then I'll toss that over here. And you know what? Let's make another pickaxe just right away. We'll just go like so. There we go. That should be good for now. Let's see just how much faster we are now that we have haste two instead. I gotta remember to go out the other door. <laughs> I always... I always go out the back door instead. Here we go. So let's just check this out. Let's see how much faster we are now that we have haste two. And keep in mind, this is an unenchanted iron pick. So, let's see. Uh, I was going that way. Yeah, let's head over here. We'll just run for a little bit. And let's see how much faster this goes for me. Because all of this was dug with just an unenchanted regular old iron pick. And with haste too. Oh yeah. That's definitely faster. I'd say that's roughly equivalent to like an efficiency 4 diamond pick without haste. So it's definitely faster. It's still not like super super fast. Uh, because I don't have any enchantments on this pickaxe or anything like that at all. But it's definitely faster. 
And considering we haven't gotten into enchanting or anything like that yet, I think it's pretty good. And then once we get our efficiency pickaxe and all that kind of good stuff, then we'll really be set. Uh, but I need to get some more diamonds and stuff like that, because uh, I spent... Uh, I, I only have six, and I want to have enough to not only make an enchanting table, but also make one of those whole tree axes that's four diamonds, make a diamond pick, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and of course, I obviously need to get a little bit more experience as well before I can put any level 30 enchants on stuff. So let me get to it, guys. I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I've done some more mining. Uh, we're up to 15 diamonds altogether. That should be enough. Also, you might notice that the uh, the one probe, which is that little thing that shows what block I'm looking at, that's up in the upper right hand corner now. Uh, if you ever want to move that, you just type slash top, which is the one probe, CFG, which is config, and then it'll bring up this and you can move it around and make it bigger and make it smaller and all that kind of stuff. So that's how you do that if you want to. Uh, but anyway, Let's go ahead and make ourselves a diamond pick and then a whole tree axe. And the rest of these diamonds I'm just going to hold on to for the moment. Uh, but I want to get some obsidian, obviously, so we can make an enchanting table. And of course, I certainly want to go and get some wood so that we can start, you know, working on properly building things. Uh, so the whole tree axe works pretty much exactly like you'd expect. You choose the bottom of a tree and it chops down the whole tree for you. And that's basically all there is to it. It's a little weird with some of these trees that you find in Biomes of Plenty, or not Biomes of Plenty, um, Biome Bundle, I should say, because it needs to be the bottom uh, log of a tree. So like if I chop this one down, this block right here, that won't work. Um, and I don't know, yeah, it, like, you can see it's a little weird sometimes. Some of these uh, motorcycle outside, please. Like, really? Mufflers are a thing? Like, if that was the noise on my car, I would be given a ticket? I, oh, sorry, I'm letting my uh, personal pet peeves bleed over. Um, I don't hate people that ride motorcycles. I just hate people that, well, and then, you know what? I shouldn't even say that. I don't hate people. I just really get annoyed when people drive around on their motorcycles with no muffler through my residential neighborhood uh, and just drive back and forth because they can. Um, anyway, I digress. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on chopping down the rest of this tree. A bunch of people asked last episode if this has vein miner. It does not. Uh, there is no vein miner here. But, uh, uh, and the whole tree axe only works, uh, like it won't work, um, uh, like, how do I explain this? It'll only work uh, when it's actually a new uh, a new tree. So like here, it's not going to chop down all the logs above it. See what I mean? Uh, it'll only work on a brand new tree that you haven't uh, done anything with yet. So if you want this whole thing to despawn, you got to kind of... Oh, and that's right. We have haste as well. So these leaves are disappearing like super quick. And then, of course, we also have... Um, uh, what's it called? Fast Leaf Decay in the pack as well. So, um, once all the logs are properly removed, everything should despawn. All the leaves, at least. Oh, this tree just never ends. There we go. So that should get rid of pretty much all of these. But it can be a little tedious if you're one of those, like, super, uh... If you're one of those people that, like, might like me that just can't stand to have floating trees, UFO trees, um, yeah, it can be a little weird. So, basically, my recommendation there is use the whole tree axe only on, uh, trees that are a single block wide and that are straight. Um, because otherwise it gets a little funky, uh, as as I showed you. Um, and that's, I mean, the there was a mod back in 110 called uh, the Lumberjack mod, which was absolutely perfect. It did, it did exactly what I wanted it to do, and it worked amazingly well. Unfortunately, that mod never updated. It never updated to, uh... yeah, see? <laughs> this is one of those weird ones where the tree, because the tree goes down, 
Um, it's a little funky. But anyway, I think it's time for me to take a little bit of a sleep. I'm going to do some more wood chopping. I'm going to go gather some obsidian. I've got a bucket. I've got a diamond pickaxe. You guys by now know how to gather obsidian, so it shouldn't surprise anyone. Uh, but I'll do a little bit more grinding, and I'll be back with you in a bit. All right, guys. I am back, and I've... Oops, and I've managed to gather uh, quite a bit of spruce wood, uh, as well as 18 blocks of obsidian, which should be enough. Um, so let's go ahead and make a couple things here. First of all, let's make 15 bookshelves. There we go. These will still work just fine. Uh, these are the spruce bookshelves from Quark. They'll still work just fine for an enchanting table. And then let's also grab two diamonds out of here so we can make an enchantment table. There we go. Good. Okay. Toss that away. And then where to set this up? Um, I mean, actually, like, right here isn't a bad spot. Yeah, maybe we'll put it, like, right here. So we'll put uh, the table down. And then we need to find a way to get all these bookshelves in. I need four more. Um... <laughs> I mean... Technically, I think I can go up here. Maybe. No. Nope, that's only 26. Okay. Well, let's take these back. Um, what's this room? This is really, like, nothing that important. <laughs> we could probably just, like, block this off for good. Yeah. You know what? We're just gonna block that room off altogether. So, I need my two bookshelves back. And then we need two oak logs. Lovely. Okay. And we're just going to go like this. And then go boop, boop. Okay. So, now this thing should support, yeah, up to level 30 enchants. Good, good, good. So, I think what we should probably do first is our diamond pick. And I only have 30 levels, so I can only do one level 30 enchant right now, but... Efficiency 3? Ugh, that's so bad. Um... Hmm... I really don't want to put efficiency 3 on here. Um, tell you what, we'll do this. I'll just do one enchant. We'll just do unbreaking, and then next time, yeah, there we go, efficiency four. So once I actually get up to uh, the next, once I actually get another level, then we'll be able to uh, to put a, a much better enchant on there, which I think is worth, I think that's worth waiting for. Um, let's just toss some of this stuff away. Uh, the next thing I want to do, I know we're running uh, a little bit short on time for today's episode, but I want to do a little bit of building before we uh, call it a day. So we are going to head down. Oh, not that door. This door. We're going to head to over here. I want to turn this into a bridge. Right now, it's just like this little area. Uh, it doesn't look very good. I want to just make a little bridge right here. Um, that'll kind of bridge us over and, and make this look a bit better. Because right now it looks pretty bad. And I don't think it would take too much to clean this up a bit and make it look, you know, pretty good. So, um, essentially we've got like a little space here. We can probably get rid of this bit. And honestly, like, it's cool to have like this little stone pile here and everything, but... It looks a little out of place right now, so we'll just do something like that, I think. Okay. So what I'm thinking is we're going to go spruce log, like so. How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So this should work. Because we'd go like here. Right? And then... Right here it would go up again. Something like this. I just want to make like a, a little bit of a, a bridge. Nothing fancy. But let's put that down. Let's make some spruce slabs. We'll go there. And it can kind of come up here. And then back down. I just, oh, that's a button. <laughs> that's all right. Easy fix. Okay. So something like that, I think. And then maybe... We'll end up doing something like this. Yeah, I think that's a, a smart decision. And then last... We'll make some of this iron wood. This is from the rustic mod. And let's just make some iron wood fences. That should be enough. And we'll just go like that, I guess. What do we think? It's fairly simple, but I think it works. Um, I might like it a little bit better. If these logs right here kind of came all the way down. And then maybe here they would go. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer the way that looks. Oh, I just realized I had a slab here that didn't end up where it was supposed to. You go there. Let's just fix this bit right here as well. Up. Up. And over. Nice. And then I think... I kind of think that maybe these right here are a little bit too much. These railings on top. I think maybe we get rid of those. Give us a lower profile. Yeah, I, I think this is a little better. And then we'll put a torch and a torch and a torch and a torch. Just so there's a little bit of light going to the bridge. And there we go. Nice little simple bridge. It's not much, but it gets the job done. And the idea is now we don't have to walk over that weird like little dirt path. And this is just one example. I, I plan to do... Uh, a lot more improvements on this area. I do also plan to build an actual house kind of out over there. So we're going to kind of overhaul. I'm not going to like super overhaul this village like the way I did in, say, FTB Beyond. Um, but I do plan to do some village improvements for sure and make this place look better. Um, and then I want to build a house probably out over there somewhere. Uh, and then, you know, we'll go from there and see what else. I mean, ultimately, I kind of have a, uh, this vision of like, turning this series into sort of like a mini kingdoms, if that makes sense. For those of you who are unfamiliar, kingdoms is my single player vanilla world. Uh, it's at like 200 and some episodes now. Uh, and basically uh, it's a series all about kind of building up the world over time, building kingdoms and places that have kind of a story and they all connect together and all. And I kind of envision this being sort of a mini kingdoms, kind of like I did back when I played life in the woods renaissance. Uh, but anyway, guys, we are out of time for this episode, so I do have to call this one here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.